Hello, sports fans, and welcome back to Got Next Gaming and some MLB The Show 17. Road to the show with Benjamin Harrison, our second baseman, who is struggling a little bit as of late. In the last episode, we saw a couple of games, and his average was a little down, but still getting hits nonetheless, but only about one hit a game. So he's going one for four a lot and one for fives and things like that. But he's stepping in here with his eight-game hitting streak, nine for 34. You can see that 265 average over that time, and 267 for the season. Definitely want to try to get that up a little bit. It's nice to have the hitting streak, but we definitely want to do a little bit more and contribute a little bit more. He's going to get his pitch here. He's going to drive this one into left field. It'll drop in front of the left fielder. He will be on it first safe, and the runner will advance to third on the base hit there. So nice hit. For him coming in to start things off here right away. Stepping in now for his second at bat. He's one for one. We're losing two to one here in the bottom of the fourth. He's a one two count. Hits this ball into right field, and the right fielder will make a few steps over. Makes the catch for the out. So picks up 15 training points, but not much else there with that. So we're going to step into his next at bat. A lot of batting opportunities as a DH, but not much fielding. Steps in here, 0-1 oh, count, one on, one out, bottom of the sixth. Gets his pitch, sends this one into right center field, but no. Second baseman jogs on over and rips it out of the air from him. Line drive, hard shot, but still no luck there as he's been getting a lot of those. He goes one for four again in this one. So he's got the nine-game hitting streak, but still struggling to get more than one hit, and those balls are just not dropping where they ain't as well as as they say so he steps in here to the first at bat of this game bottom of the first he's batting second in the dh spot there and he's going to get a base hit here to start things off so he will be on safe with his first at bat and he extends the hit streak to 10 games now i was kind of expecting a little bit of some fanfare here 10 game hitting streak but that didn't happen uh i guess i don't consider a 10 game hitting streak that big of a deal the eight game was but not the 10 game. So we'll see what that's all about later on. If we can continue the streak, maybe they mention it later on. Who knows as he gets further into the streak anywhere. Anyway, he's on base here. He's looking to advance, and this one will be out of the park. So he gets to trot around the bases. He will get the first to home on a hit and some decent points there to add to his attributes later on with the training points that he gets. And the Thunder get a two-run shot here from one of their better hitters on the team as well. So, looking pretty good there. Two-run homer, first of the season for Jiman Choi. And, yeah, they have a 4 nothing lead now. So, bottom of the second, two on, one out. Deals. He hits this one into right field. It'll drop for a base hit. He'll be on it first. The runner will not go further than second base as he thinks wisely and holds on there. But, nothing doing after that. So, he steps in here. Two for two now. Suddenly, things are looking up for Benjamin Harrison, our second baseman. He's having a... Good game here so far. Gets his pitch on this one and rips this one into center field. Drops in for a base hit. The runner will move up to second. And he's got his third hit of the ball game here. Nice one for Benny Harrison as he's up to a 290 batting average now. Nice, exciting game here for him. Three for three. Most of, mostly singles, but what are you going to do? We're down 5-4 in the bottom of the seventh. He's going to get this one lifted into left field. This one is deep. Left fielder goes back but makes the catch. And that'll do it for Ben Harrison on that one. In his next at bat, we're down 6-4 to four now. Bottom of the ninth, two outs. He's going to ground this one into the hole between short and third. He'll get on with his fourth hit of the ball game. So Benjamin Harrison has himself a day here. Four hits in five at bats. And looking pretty dialed in here as we catch the replay of that one. And ripped it right where they ain't. Perfect. Exactly what we expect out of Benjamin Harrison. So after that four-hit performance, he's going to hear from the hitting coach on the team. So hitting coach Ryan comes in and says, boy, you really had a, that guy's number today, Benjamin. And we have the opportunity to say booyah or thanks, coach. And we're going to kind of go for uh, booyah because, you know, we're excited about that one. That's a great game. Whatever you're doing, stick to it is what he says. And we will take that with a grain of salt and, you know, do what we can. But we get the 10-game hitting streak. We pick up 30 points for that and 121 points in total in this game, 4 for 5 with the run scored. We are happy about that performance. It's kind of what we want him to be, more of a singles hitter, extra base hit kind of guy. Get on base and try to get the run across 
if he can type of deal. You know, we want him in that second spot exactly where he is now. We're going to sim a few games. We'll see how he does in those. He goes three for four. He goes two for four. So he is now on a tear. A batting average up to 320. He's got eight RBIs. And now it's looking like he's dialed in a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and take the reins here. And they're going to put us into the fifth spot, I guess, because we're hitting so hot lately. They're going to give us an opportunity as DH in the fifth spot. We'll probably get some RBI opportunities, hopefully. And let's see what Benjamin Harrison can do with those opportunities. So he's going to get his pitch here. 1-0 count in the bottom of the second. Rips this one into right field. Right fielder moves on over. He gets over his head. Hits the wall at the base of the wall. Bounces back to him. He'll run around first. Slide. Helmet falls off into second base. Safe with an extra base hit. Double. 13 game hitting streak. So here they make a little bit of a big deal. As he goes almost two weeks now with a hit in every game. 13 game hitting streak. And yeah. Benjamin Harrison is pretty hot right now. And there is no stopping him. So he'll step in here with a 327 average now. Two outs with a 2-2 two -two count in the fourth. Gets his pitch again and he rips this one. But the second baseman will move over and easily grab that one on the line drive for the out. Gets a lot of those where he hits them right at the fielders. Kind of bad luck if you ask me. But stepping in here, he's got two on and one out. And the right fielder will range in. Comes on in on that one. Makes the catch and that'll do it for the game. Trenton wins this one by a squeaker 2-1. to one. Benjamin Harrison with one hit in this game, and, a, and it was a double, leaving his average at around 317 or so. But he's batting 405 over the last 10 games, so he's pretty hot. We're stepping into another ball game here. 3 for 9 with three singles there in the series. Let's see what he can do in this one. And he will get his opportunity here in the top of the first 0-2 count. Swings and misses. That one's in the dirt. He'll take off for first, but it'll be an easy put out there for the catcher to the first baseman and he gets a strikeout there so 0 for 1 now as he steps into his second at bat in the top of the third with two on gets this one right back up the middle shortstop dies but can't get it third base the guy the runner at third will score on the play Benjamin Harrison with the base hit and the RBI getting the run across for his team there but they are down three to one here in the top of the six so he'll see if he can do something get things going and he does with a base hit right back up the middle so he is having a pretty good day here again as well as he's on with a base hit there. Let's see if the Thunder can do anything with this one here. We'll see he gets the swing there. 80 mile an hour curveball hits this one and he puts it right in the right spot to get the base hit. And uh, yeah, so looking good here so far. This is what we wanted to see out of him and we're hoping this is what it's going to be. Here he is with an opportunity to score the... Right fielder will field the ball on the base hit. He runs and goes for home, but he slides in and he's out at the plate as he is gunned down by the right fielder. But he had himself a pretty decent day here, two for four with an RBI. And we're going to hear some more from the manager. A fast developing young player has gotten the attention of the higher ups in management. So we talked to the manager and he says, I've noticed you much improved in such a short time around a press of track. We have the opportunity again here to kind of show our personality. We'll go, thanks, kid. I've been working hard. Prospects may not realize how closely they are being watched and by other organizations as well as their own. And it shows. Keep up, keep it up, and you could go places in this game, says manager Nunez. And some pretty cool stuff there for Benjamin as he's getting noticed now by the manager. Uh, nice, cool interaction. I kind of like this whole... Uh, narrator thing where they're coming in here and they kind of make it a little bit more interactive get to show your personality and stuff um, pretty cool aspect to the game without a doubt so we're gonna go here and take a look around and see what needs to be done we have some training points that can be thrown in as well uh, we have some games to play too uh, I believe we're gonna go ahead and put uh, take a look here and see uh, how stats are doing we're leading the league the Eastern League anyway in hits for 39 hits pretty exciting stuff I think we'll go ahead and sim some games here for our second baseman to see how we do there. And he goes 0 for 3 in that game. Uh, not a good decision, maybe. Not a good choice to do that. But it is what it is. But we're going to hear from the manager one more time to see what he has to say. A minor leaguer is assigned temporarily to a new role. So manager instructed us to get a look at you at as a third baseman for a short time and uh yeah again kind of show our, our personality here and we're going to be 
uh, I think the team player, and we're just going to kind of be like, yeah, okay, whatever you need, Skip. Kind of the best opportunity here. It kind of surprised me a little bit. When I was looking at the roster, though, it kind of made sense. There's a lot of uh, competition in the way at second base, and maybe third base will be better for us, being that they have Chase Headley, who's older, and possibly not going to be with the team much longer. But uh, it says it could take a few games to get settled in, but eight or ten games, you should just be good. It's not permanent. Just have fun with it. But they're kind of calling us the third baseman as we see this game here. We're in third. We're, uh, we're playing third, and we're batting sixth here in this one. So we'll have to see what Ben Harrison can do with his opportunities. But first, we're going to get an at-bat from him here with that 317 average. He'll step in and see what he can do with it. So he's got the 1-2 count here. The pitcher will deal. He hits this one in the air to center field, lifts that one up there. Center fielder kind of camps in his tracks, makes the routine catch, and he'll be sent down there in that first opportunity buddy but here's his first chance in the field at third base let's see how he does here when the pitcher deals and the batter will hit it on the ground to him he picks it up sets his feet gets the throw power up and not quite on a line there but does get the out a little bit off on accuracy we'll have to work on that a little top of the sixth here gets another batting opportunity he will swing and miss at the changeup as it kind of had him fooled there thought it would be a fastball and he'll take a strike out and have to sit down there. But another fielding opportunity here in the bottom side of the two outs. And let's see what happens. Pitcher deals. Swung on and hit right at him as he kind of gloves that one. It was a hot shot right at him. Lines up the target, throws, and gets the out there, picking up his eight training points for the good fielding opportunity. A player receives a visit from his manager. Yep, and we're going to see some. We're pleased with what you've shown defensively here recently. We're going to say uh, thanks. It's kind of simple. Nothing really show much there, but we're getting noticed right away. Defense, to me, is the key to playing baseball. And, uh, yep, okay. Who apparently really likes this baseball quote. Yeah, really does. Defense, to me, is the key to playing baseball. Says it again. You know who said that? Uh, kind of two options here as I was going with. I was going to be like Willie Mays or Ozzie Smith. We kind of could have showed some, uh, you know, real quirky personality by saying you did, coach, just now. But, but I went with Ozzie Smith here on this one and uh it would actually turn out to be willie mays and also likes his players to respect the importance of defense so yeah you got it willie mays the greatest defensive player the game ever saw and he was right so don't neglect to continue developing your game defensively so we are taking the hint here you got it coach message loud and clear we went 0 for 4 in that last game didn't do too hot there but uh, still a 307 batting average and we're gonna go ahead and do as the coach says and we're gonna Work on our attributes. Our overall rating has dropped from a 59 to 56. I don't know if it's because they put more of a fielding emphasis on a third baseman, being that you have to have stronger attributes. You need better accuracy and better arm strength. And that's exactly what we're going to work on here. Fielding, reaction, arm strength, and a little bit of accuracy to bump up some of these um, attributes here to get him up there a little bit. And uh, we're going to go ahead and see if we can't fit in a few more points here and there. Maybe some batting discipline or whatever, but we're going to go ahead and do that. Doesn't give us much of a boost over anything overall, but it does give us a boost in our fielding attributes, and that's going to be something we're going to have to keep an eye on and definitely work with. I kind of like the idea of him going to third. Again, like I said, I think there's a better opportunity with uh, Starling Castro up there at second base in the majors right now. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode, folks. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with me in this one. Please leave your comments below and a like for the video. It really helps the channel a lot. I'll see you around the channel, and bye-bye now.